What is up everybody? This is Jesse the Broke Ass Nail Arts coming at you on this lovely Monday evening or whatever day is for you, but it's Monday for me, so you know, what are you gonna do? And you may be wondering what this video is about. Well, I'm gonna be trying crafting because since I, since you all know I'm already doing my bedroom to make it my perfect nail art bedroom slash YouTube studio and everything, I decided I'm gonna try to, to like paint my own room decor. And I found some lovely little things at um, Dollar Tree that I'm gonna try to paint with. And also I'm wearing gloves because when you have long nails like me and they're painted, you gotta protect them from the paint and everything. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I got all my ingredients, I got all my stuff ready or ingredients ready for what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna lower the camera down so you can, so you can see what I got. There we go. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be painting. I'm gonna be painting this unicorn wood thing right here. And I got me like purple, this pink, this like glittery red. I hope this is paint. This is paint, right? Tempera paint with tempera paint. And this pink color right here. And I got white because I wanna um because I wanna um paint this in white like primer so the color's gonna show up really good. So you know, so we're gonna so I got all my paints and everything ready. Like I said, we're using my gloves and we're just gonna dive into it now. So I'm gonna go put some white in here. And then we're just gonna paint, paint, paint. This might be a two-day project for me because I gotta wait for the paint to dry and everything, so. <sighs> and yes, I got this all from Dollar Tree, so, you know, probably gonna do a lot of coats and everything. No, I'm not a crafter, but I'm just, I'm broke as now, I was trying crafting. And since I saw this cute little unicorn, might as well, you know, paint stuff for my room since, you know, I can't afford a lot of stuff. So, you know, won't do any harm to paint you know try to do your own try to do your own room decor and make your own room decor so yeah we'll probably yeah, just be priming it first and no I am no Mariah Elizabeth so yeah but I'm trying well and I'll probably have to wait for this to dry and everything oh. so this might be a two day or a few day project for me so but it's for for you it'll be like it took one day so painting 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 like I said I got all this stuff from Dollar Tree <laughs> everything so I'm putting this in the water while I get some more what so I get some more white paint ready I should shake it first so I don't know if a shaking paint works because like I said I'm not you know the paint palette desire our set. Okay. So eh, there we go. This is all new to me because like I said, I know nails not crafting. Let me just draw my brush off. Heck if this and if this does do good, heck maybe I might do some more crafting stuff. Cause you know I've been one, I've been thinking about doing some crafting for a little bit. Cause you know I, like I said, I found out some of my family mem some of my family members on my dad's side, like my great 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 how many greats there are, they actually did art. Like one did oil paint, the other did charcoal, and I actually found out a lot of their stuff was hung up in um museums, so and I've been wondering why I've always been interested in like doing artsy stuff, and now I know why. May not be good at it, but you know, you can always try and get into it. Because I had this one girl stop me in um, Dollar Tree asking me if I'm an artist. And I said, I did, t I just said I'm a beginner nail artist and everything. And I also like to do crafting and all of this and everything. Well, try my, try my hands at crafting. And she's like, I always wanted to be an artist. I'm like, well, try. Like, there's nothing wrong. I said, go ahead and try. There's not, you know, I'm a beginner nail artist and everything. And I did all this. I showed her what I did on my nails with the, the presents and everything. And I said, there's nothing, if you. I said I just said try it don't don't be like you know wondering what might have been if you didn't try it so you know my because I said don't don't let your don't let your fear like stop you from doing it stop you from doing anything so I hope I helped her out and you know because she said she really wants to be an artist but she don't think she's any good and I said well I'm a beginner nail artist and I'm also going to be doing crafting and everything so like I said no harm in trying so I got it all primed and wet with the white base and everything so i think that's it for the white so i'm gonna wipe my hands off so i don't actually 
Good thing I had the gloves on because if you got long nails like I do, it's a good idea to, it's a good idea to wear them because they would get all over your nails and that's not good. We gotta protect our nails. So that's a good thing to do, protect the nails. I mean, even before I heard of this one TikToker that I follow, I always said my number one rule is to protect the nails and everything. But, you know, we got a lot in common with our, with that. And, it, and I'm also going to do a video, too. I'm also going to do a video where I'm going to show you how I grew my nails and what I used to grow my video. But that's going to be probably for a next week video because it's probably going to take me a couple days to do it to finish and everything because you got to wait for the paint to finish and everything. So, I'll move that aside. And just clean up my mess. And wait for it to dry. It shouldn't take that long to dry. Uh, I'm debating if I want to make the horse all purple. And then do like pink hair. Or this glittery stuff. It's a little watery. What the heck is this? Squeezed. I mean, seriously, it's watery. I never. I'm not. A, I'm not a crafter. I'm a nail artist, but you know, I'm, I might do a little series that broke ass nail artist tries crafting because I got a butterfly also from Dollar Tree and everything. So that's gonna be probably something else I'm gonna be doing too because you know, I can try a lot more things than just you know nail stuff because I I do have other interests too. So. I'm not gonna make a second channel because that'd just be weird. I just might just have I just, that just might be another se uh, a series like the broke ass nail artist does crafting. So you know, nothing wrong with that. So gotta wait for this to dry. Okay, I'm gonna take a brief pause while I wait for this to dry, and then I'll be back with you in a second. So as this dries, and then we'll be then after that dries, we'll paint the base. We'll paint the purple and everything. So I'll see you in a second. So now since it's dry and ready to go, I'm deciding that I'm going to go paint it, paint the main body of it this color. And yes, it's not acrylic paint, it's called tempura paint. And I looked up what ten, tempura paint was. It says like a water-based paint, but apparently it dries real fast too, so hopefully it's not as watery. So I'm just going to shake it. So they said it's a good medium to work with, so hopefully it's not, oh, so it's not, oh, that's actually pretty. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, make this the the bot the body of the horse. But I think I'm gonna make the I think I'm gonna make this like the um different color, like a glittery red or something. Okay, so well, I'm not gonna color the horn because the horn is gonna be a glittery thing. So let's so I'm gonna try to paint this where you can see me painting it, cause you know. Okay. Well, anyway, I have decided that I am gonna make this a series. It's going to call the Broke Ass Nail Artist Does Crafting. Because it is technically for my for nails in a way if you think about it. Because I am decor I'm, I am making this room decor for my, my nail art room slash bedroom. And it's going to also part of my YouTube studio. And this is going to be like a functional a functional um thing. So I think I'm going to probably put my scrunchies or rings on it. I haven't decided yet, but I am going to use it. So or it's going to, I don't know what, or it could be hold something else, but I think it's going to hold some my scrunchies I got because I got a lot of cute little scrunchies because I'm because where I work at, I got to wear my hair up and I'm tired of having boring scrunchies. So I decided to just, you know, I decided to just get some cute um, scrunchies because why be boring when you can be, you know, different. And no, I'm not saying I'm like those other girls, you know. I'm unique in all, everybody. Doesn't matter if you're male, female, non-binary, trans. Any, everybody is unique in their own way. So I don't know why everybody has to be mean to people and try be and try outdo them in uniqueness. I don't know why. Because everybody is unique in their own right. So, like I said, I do not know why everybody... Like I said, it's my first time doing any kind of crafting because, like I said, I'm a beginner nail artist and I am learning greatly from that, too. And everything. So, maybe, and, you know, maybe I can, maybe I'm going to be learning how to do crafting now, too. You know? You can have, I think, anybody can have more than one interest. That's my humble opinion, you know? 
why bother like why bother be, you know doing one thing yes I may be yes I may have a channel called broke ass nail artist but you know I'm decide I'm think I'm, I'm deciding I'm gonna make this a series where I do you know crafting so I can make stuff for my nail art room yes I'm gonna get stuff from Amazon too you know that I found online that's a good price and everything so I can um so I can uh, make my nail art room look pretty because it has lights and stuff on because you because there's no lights on anything where I can find yes I got those cute little lights that are above my nail art my nail polish wall mount and everything but those are from Dollar Tree I need I found some good priced LED lights on Amazon I get a lot of stuff from Amazon or if I can find something from Family Dollar or Walmart because they got a lot of good prices like good stuff too but you know you do what you gotta do. I'm, yes, I'm, even though I'm gonna make some room decor for my room, because to me, if I make room decor for the room that I'm redoing to make it my perfect nail art studio bedroom and YouTube studio, which I like to call it, it would actually make me feel good that I made something for it. You know, made a few things for my room, so. That's what, so, you know, if I made something for my room, it would actually mean more because I put something, I put something into it, because instead of just buying everything, you know, but there's nothing wrong if you can't, you know. Okay, well since I got that out of the way, I think I'm going to go ahead and paint the the bottom of it, which I think I'm going to do... Oh, what am I going to I'm going to go ahead and paint the bottom. I just don't know which I'm going to paint it. So I have this to choose from, this glittery red, and then this like really hot pink pink and everything. And I have this purple right here this acrylic purple I think I want to do huh, I don't want the pink to blend in and the red glittery well, maybe the red maybe we can mix the red glittery with some white so it's not that so it's like a little bit pale and everything let's see okay put it in with some all right because this one's really watery that the red one is so I'm probably going to take, uh, I don't think this would look that great. No, I'm not going to do that. That was dumb of me. Dumb, dumb of me to do. <laughs> Whoopsies. So let's wash that off. That won't work. Okay. You need to put a little more in. So I'm just going to do it by itself. Oh, it is a very pretty white though. Not white. Why did I say white? Oh, because I just got done pouring the white. It's a very pretty glittery red. So we're just going to do the, 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 the pedestal that's on like this red. And I think it is supposed to be like a little bit of see-through and everything, which, you know, it's fine. I probably do a little bit more coats of this too. Which... It's fine. It's like a topper, like a glitter topper for nail polish. That's why I realized what this is. It's like a glitter topper. That's actually pretty. Huh, that really is pretty though. That's like a glitter. But I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna do some more coats of it though. That is for sure because I, I really want it to like, you know, and because that's as more to do with like glitter toppers on um on your fingers, it gets more layered. But you can, but to make it more easy, instead of just using the brush when you do your nails with the glitter, you can just take a makeup sponge and put the glitter topper on it, and then t and then dab it on that way. So, so that will actually make you have more layers instead of just using the using the paint and um, using the paint brush on your on your fingernail polish and everything. And you can just actually take a makeup brush, put the glitter topper on there. It takes the liquid out, and you can dab it on your nails, and you got your you know, you're probably wondering why I like unicorns so much. Well, it's just a form of a horse that I like. It's just, just another pretty form of a horse. So it makes me happy and everything. I like any kind of like mystical horse. Doesn't doesn't matter if it's like a Pegasus, um, Alicorn, the one with the wings, Unicorn. If it's a horse version, I like it because I used to have five horses on a horse farm. Used to show horses Western pleasure because you know heck my mom even hired a, a horse trainer for me to train but the thing is I really didn't need it because I was because by I was riding horses by four and everything and by myself might I add and 
and she hired a trainer don't know why because every time he always came I always learned I always I always had something new that I always learned like I taught myself how to trot taught myself how to lope taught myself how to do everything and he's like why did you even hire me and mom's like I honestly don't know so and my mom actually I got not I got an idea I'm gonna paint this that pink color but I'm gonna put the red above it so it can have the pink shine through but I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do um that red topper over it that's actually a good idea okay so just gonna just gonna paint this pink and then put the red topper over it that'd be actually smart yeah gotta do a few layers of it though This is gonna have to dry sometime. Alrighty, yeah, that's actually gonna, I think it's gonna look cute. Yes, it's looking like a little weird right now, but like I said, I gotta do more, more coats of it and clean it up and then put the red on it, so. Okay, well, actually, and then the best thing we can do is wait for it to dry, because it might take some time to dry. Okay. Okay. Well, I think this is the best place to stop as of now because, like I said, it's going to take me a while for it to dry, and I'm going to have to, like, you know, do it. And this is so. This is a part one, and I'll show you part two. So as of right now, this is what it looks like. Yes, it's not the best looking thing, but I'm working. I get that out of the way. Yes, it's not the best, but I'm working on it. So this is the both sides of it. I'm going to do another because you know that takes a little while to dry, you know. But I think I'm running on that thing, running onto um you know the time thing so so i'm just gonna fix that but anyway this is what it looks like and this is the front and back and i'm gonna like start tomorrow wait for it to dry put some more coats on it and then finish it up tomorrow so this is part one and i hope to see you i hope to see you for part two so until next time until next time bye